All right, from here. So this is just called the Wide Straddle T. This is the beginning of our flow series, okay? From Wide Straddle T, we're just gonna do a half flow. We're gonna push back into star. So hips don't move, it's just the upper thoracic thoracics that bend over the swing. So I'm actually pushing into the swing to lift the hips, to lift the upper body, hips stay heavy. And then flex the fingers back. So from star, I'm gonna squeeze the legs together. I'm gonna squeeze the hands together, bend the elbows into prayer, push the hips up, and lean back into a reverse namaste. So all of that, I call the summation of it. Okay, we're going to sink back down and open up and take a break here. So wide straddle T, repeat this one more time. Star, namaste. So squeeze the legs together, squeeze the hands together, press back. Right. We're holding on with our forearms. The more you press your hips up, the stronger the pose. And then from here, we're going to hold on to the sway with your hands. Okay. So you hold on and keep leaning back. So we're going to let the swing slide into the waist. Keep nice long lines of energy. Point the toes. Let the hands pour down towards the ground. So this is ladle. So from your toes to your fingertips, you're draining the energy out. So this is really our first back bend inversion. So we just get into it really gentle and slow. So we're going to inhale, swim our arms back up, hold on to the swing, come back to sit. Good. Perfect. How's that feel? Yeah, by changing planes, mm -hmm. right? And then we need to do the full flow. That's just half of it. So let's try that again with each breath. So we inhale, open. Exhale, lean back, star. Inhale, squeeze for namaste. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, hold on to the swing. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, swing your arms down towards the ground. Exhale, relax into it. Inhale, swing your arms back up. Exhale, lift the head, lower the hips, sit down. Inhale, open back up. Really good. One more time, okay? So this is the half vinyasa flow. Inhale, open. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, squeeze the legs together, squeeze the hands together. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, hold on to the swing. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, open up the arms, swim them down the overhead. Exhale, relax into it. Inhale, swim the arms back up. Exhale, sit back down. Open up, really good. All right, let's just sway it out. Let's neutralize the spine after all that goodness. So yeah, so that legal position where the swing is at the hips is amazing, amazing, amazing to come into a supported inversion and back bend all at the same time. It's really great. One of the things. Can you hands here just like above you? Yeah, so palms up. So just watch me for one breath. So you can see, so I swim my arms down and around. So just like a semicircle. So my palms are up the whole time, and then I swing them back up. So it's just, again, creating long lines of energy in the body as opposed to just, you know, bringing yeah. them down. So I'm working with the semi-circular shapes with the body. So whenever I say swim your arms up or down, uh -huh. that's, what I, that's what I mean by that. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and try it one more time. Let me just watch you and see how it goes. So inhale, wide straddle T. Exhale. Star. Keep your hips heavy the whole time. <laughs> so come back up. So star is where the swing is at the heart. So we don't push the hips up yet. Okay. Okay? So inhale, wide straddle T. Okay. Exhale, star. Good. Not too far. Keep your hips heavy. So that, keep your hips heavy. That's how you keep the swing high. Okay. Yeah. I know. <laughs> T and star is just, just the heart. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Before, we'll that's that. star. Okay, and that's T. So wide straddle T is the start, and then we come to star. And then you squeeze your legs together, squeeze your hands together into prayer. Good. Now press back. Okay. Great. So that's Namaste. Now hold on to the swing. 
Lean back. Let it slide into the waist. Beautiful. Put hands down to the ground. Swim them overhead. Yeah. And then palms stay up. Yes. So now you can feel the energy from your toes to your fingertips. You can feel the energy draining out of the body, right? Yeah. Beautiful. That's great. So that's called ladle. Sometimes called lotus. <laughs> Lotus is the pretty name, but ladle is really what you're doing, right? Like you're like this little like Thanksgiving ladle. Mm -hmm. Scoop the gravy. Yeah. All right. And so now swim your arms back up. Hold on to the swing. So inhale up, exhale, sit down. There you go. You got it. And you want to do that nice and slow because you'll feel all that like heaviness that happens. That's great. Really good. Okay. So from here, we're going to come into our swing bada. So the swing bada is where, if you need a break, let me know. Otherwise, we'll keep going with the sequence. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to bring our feet together. Press our knees up and wide. So it's like a bada kanasana in yoga, but it's like swing bada bada. <laughs> uh -huh. here. So we have the hips pushed up slightly. You'll notice that if you kept the hips heavy, you can't really bring the feet together, so you just push the heels together. Okay. And then bring the knees wide. Push the knees open with your hands. Mm -hmm. Good. But as much as possible, you see how the neck will want to engage in this one. See if you can keep the upper body kind of relaxed and the hips do the work. Really good. Okay, good. So from swing bada, we reach forward for the leg loops as high as we can. So keep your arms around the swing, yeah. So reach, push the feet together, lift the hips, lean back. So this is flying monkey. Okay. Yeah, so this is the last part of the sequence. And you can break these up and do them like one at a time and you can do the whole thing. Okay, so for flying monkey, we're going to sink the hips down, keep holding on, open up the legs wide. Mm -hmm. So most people are going to let go. You have to remind them to hold on. Beautiful sequence, okay? So we, we stay here for a breath and then we press the feet together, lift the hips, lean back, revisit flying monkey three times. And we stretch the neck. Sink the hips down, open up wide. So now we're stretching the hamstrings. Flex the feet back. Really good. You got it. Press the feet together. Lift the hips. Lean back. Fly one feet. So when we sit down, we're going to do a little bit of a, of a different sequence. So now what we're going to do is make sure that we're, we have a grip as high as we can. And then we're going to stay in the wide straddle and just do a few bicep curls. So wide straddle splits. Good. So this is going to be really hard for people. You're going to hear them start freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Complaining and freaking out simultaneously. We just have them go as far as it feels good for today. Okay, and now we're going to come into um, a threading position. So I'm going to reach through and grab the front end of the leg loop and, and make an X this way. Exactly. So I call it this threading through. And now we're going to come into W. Right? So we lean back. We start keep pulling strongly with the leg loops and arch. So as much as possible, our legs come straight up and down. There it is. Beautiful. So most people, to come back up, most people are not going to be able to do that on the first try. Right? You can remember it's a beginning class and some people will freak out. And this is when it's good, like you said, I'll let how am I going to know if somebody can do something? So, so this is wow. <laughs> so most people will come here. <laughs> and so then this becomes whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you come straight up and down. So that's how like, the inverted W got its name. Everyone's like, oh wow, oh whoa. <laughs> and that's how it got its name. So most people have trouble holding on. Yeah. Um, they it's not a right. 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 Yeah. I know, we're going to shake it out. So this might be as far as somebody goes, which is totally fine. Okay. And then if somebody can come straight up and down with this arch more and pull more. Okay? So just try that one more time. I'm just going to watch you and see how you do. Good. Yep, you got it. Really nice. So isn't that great? And so then I wanted to show you kamikaze, right? Yes. Remember I said, and this is for the video, this is not for the beginner, so ignore us. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really fun. So we're going to switch to the arches of the feet. And I'm going to show you, I talked about a little bit yesterday how we have to engage more, right? When we do the arches of the feet. Yeah. 
I'm going to come through my flying monkey. Okay, push the feet together strongly. So from here, we can also do our bicep curls, right? So I'm going to lean back the flying monkey, and then I'm going to pull up. So hold as high as you can. See how I'm holding at the, at the nub? Yeah, the official scientific term, <laughs> the nub. So it just makes it a little bit easier when we go to flip. Okay, so from holding here, then we open up wide with your bicep curl. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lean forward, squeeze my legs together, and then come back through center. There you go, awesome, you did it. Let's do it over time. So bicep curl, flip forward, legs together, and then come to sit. It's so, cool. it's so cool, I know, it's like, how did we do that? Mm -hmm. Trust me, the first time I did it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a face plant. And I didn't, and I was so happy. <laughs> now, there is a way of doing it backwards, but I have to say, it doesn't quite go as well. So we'll practice that on day three. <laughs> but yeah, there's also a way of reversing it. It's just like not quite as smooth as the front one. I'm going to get a butt forward. So you have to bring your legs open and wide. And then do a bicep curl. And then lean forward, squeeze the legs together and flip. Yeah, and then we, voila, we land back in the same pose. Thank you.